Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Lauren Remus. This is just kind of weird because I haven't filmed in a long time and haven't like had to go one on one, you know, chat with you guys. Today I ugh, am going to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for the longest time ever. And I've been putting it off because of outside influences. But you know, when it comes down to it, I share so much of my life on the internet and I just feel like you guys deserve to know what's going on and I am allowed to share that with you. So obviously there's going to be a few people that have a problem with this video and I'm sorry but my life is online so if you choose to involve yourself in my life then that means you are also online. Um, I'm going to tell a story time today. Um, my friends decided to f*** over part 10. <laughs> No, actually, I don't know what part it is, but all I know is that, like, my friends love to fuck me over. Like, I have the worst luck with friends. Before I start the video, make sure to, you know, leave a like if you like story times because I have so much fucked up shit stored inside of me of shit that's been done to me that I would love to share with you guys. My struggles help you guys, and you guys benefit from it, and sending me all these really kind messages about how you know you're not alone now, and you know you're not the only one that goes through hard stuff. So, I'm really glad that I could do that for you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in anything because this channel is a mess and I will... I'm definitely going to be spamming my channel with a bunch of dope videos. So, yeah, if you want to be a part of that, just subscribe. All my social medias, follow them. Instagram, you know how it is. Instagram, Diane, need to bring you back alive. Today's story time is really, really special because it has to do with the fact of like being on social media while you're in public school and starting a YouTube channel and all that crazy sh**. And I know all you guys see is like, I mean, you've seen some bad stuff, but most people like, as of YouTubers only see the good parts like the money and the followers and the popularity they don't see like how many people change the way that they act towards you as soon as you start getting a following as soon as you start getting money and honestly that part sucks so bad I can't tell you how many people have fucked me over and used me since I've started social media and not that people didn't already do that before, but it's just 30 times worse now. So, this specific story has to do with me getting used for followers, but mostly money. Now, I'm just not ready. I'm literally just not ready. Like, this story just mentally f***s me up because this person still doesn't think that they did anything wrong and they're continuing to do fucked up shit to the point I'm speaking at like as of right now and I just don't understand why I do this to myself why I let myself even get put in these situations why I let myself get treated like this one like I know for a fact that I deserve better but I don't know that's just how I am it's one of my weaknesses you know live with it love learn live so i'm starting with fake names because we're not gonna expose anyone we're not gonna attack anyone we're not gonna harass anyone i'm legally allowed to tell this story if i don't use names so i'm not gonna use names so let's call this girl let's call her kelly now her name's not kelly but let's call her kelly and hopefully i'll remember it this time um Earlier at the be at the end of last school year this girl was let me just give you some background on this girl So she's been dating this guy for about three years on and off It's like a really toxic unhealthy relationship breaking up and cheating on each other constantly and yeah, so This girl is not the most liked girl and it's because of the fact that She's just really selfish. She's always putting her boyfriend, who like treats her very badly, 
before like all of her friends that have always been there for her which i can see how that frustrates people she's very like greedy i don't know like she asks for a lot i've always been mutual with this girl i guess and she didn't really show an interest in being my friend until my youtube and followers and stuff like that took off so i should have known right off the bat but you know i was bored it was summer like school's about to be out and i was like why not just give this girl a chance and hang out with her so she posts this thing on finsta which if you don't know it's like fake instagram where you post like quirky jokes it's really cringy most of the time but like other times it's just like everybody sharing all sharing like what's going on in their life and she posted about how she's getting her license and she wants someone to like drive around with her and travel all summer i was like dude like i'm so down like because like no one was commenting so i was just like what the heck like i'd love to do that like let's be best friends you know let's hang out and she's like oh heck yeah girl like i'm down and she this is the part that gets me every time she would like go in my instagram lives and like comment on my pictures and like she's seen other people screw me over so bad like so bad and she continues to like kind of do it again to me like you know those people that see like the fucked up shit that you go through and then they just put you through it again like i just don't like that's so sick like what the fuck? but anyway so she texts me one night and she's like do you want to hang out because like we want to like hang out and like get kind of close before we like start traveling together and shit. so i was like sure like let's hang out so i come over Everything's fine, but the first thing I noticed like right off the bat is that she is so I see like I Want to say this in the most like least offensive way possible She's so like dull like she's so boring and like just as soon as you walk in the room It's just like silence and like I'm trying like I I'm such a like loud outgoing person. So it's weird to be like with someone who's so like I Don't know like it's just like I don't even know how to describe it. I kind of knew off the bat that our personalities wouldn't like mesh together well. So we hung out, though everything was fine, like whatever, and we hung out a few more times after that, like we Ubered places and like everything was fine, like she would pay for something, I would pay for something, it was pretty even. As we started to hang out like more and more, the money wasn't so even anymore. So. First off, it started as like, like, yeah, like, I'm hungry and I want this. Like, I'm, since I'm going to get, like, I might as well pay for you too. And that was my first mistake. So, basically, whenever I would, like, want ice cream or something, I would feel, like, obligated to buy her something. And it came to the point where she was, like, expectant of me to buy things for her. Like, we would go get ice cream or something. She would, like, expect without even asking for me to pay for her. It was so f***ed up. And, like... We would be in her room just chilling and then she'd be like, you know, like I really want ice cream. Kind of like, kind of like signaling to me that she wants me to go buy her ice cream. Like kind of like you would do to your parents. And it turned into me buying everything. Like all this expensive shit, all the time coming out of my wallet. Because she took advantage of the fact that she knew that I had a good income because of YouTube. Around like the time we, start, we first started being friends, she, this was the really sketchy part she started a youtube channel and she told me as soon as she posted her first video to promote it for her so like you can't tell someone with a larger following than you to promote your stuff because that's like clout chasing but like i guess she didn't have those morals or whatever and so i did it because because i'm, cause I'm stupid I promoted her video, she got views and subscribers and comments and everything was coming from me. I gave her so many like multiple shout outs and she was just growing off me, like leeching off of me at the same time like using my money. And keep in mind every time we, my mom doesn't really let people come over, like it's just always been that way. Like she's never like let me have people over and it sucks but that's how it is. And so we, we would always constantly be staying over her house. Like, I would be staying over her house for, like, weeks on end. And so I felt as though, like, I maybe owed her, like, money. Like, paying for stuff was my way of, like, compensating for me being at her house when in reality it was just hanging out and I shouldn't have had to do that. It was just all getting way too much. It was never the kind of friendship where you could just, like, 
FaceTime and have a good time and just talk about life and like be there for each other. And I couldn't basically trust her with anything because she would always just tell her friends secrets and such. So I didn't want to like, I never really told her anything. I was never like open with her because first of all, I already had trust issues from like past times being over. And I don't know, she lies a lot. So it's kind of hard to trust her and stuff like that. I noticed a lot throughout the friendship. She started kind of putting me down a lot and she liked making me feel pretty bad about myself and I don't want to say this to like be a d but like I'm confident with myself and she kind of would I guess envy that and like tear me down and like say rude things just for no reason like you'll never have a boyfriend or stuff like that which doesn't make sense because she's like in a very toxic relationship and like almost like she's like keeps going back to someone who's like cheating on her and such so I don't really understand at that point. <laughs> like, always says stuff like that, but like, she helped her friend ask me to homecoming. So she knew that like, I was involved with guys and she knows that I have a lot of guys in my phone or whatever. But like, she would still say stuff like that just cause like, it would make her feel better, I guess. <laughs> when not only was she spending my money and treating me like I was like, like I owed her, like I was like her parent or something, she would start like putting me down too so it was like already bad at the same time we weren't really close on a level like that so it was just like a weird friendship it was like really weird but i guess like it was summer i was bored like didn't really see an issue with it at the time and so i just kept hanging out with her yeah she started to go south really quick so basically the first screwed up thing that happened is we went to hershey park together me kelly kelly's little sister apple let's call her that and the only reason we went, and she tried to, Kelly tried to like hide this, I guess. But the only reason we went to Hershey Park was because her boyfriend was going the same day. And she wanted to meet up with him, I guess. And she was just bringing me to like tag along or whatever. And so basically you can assume what happened. She ended up ditching me for her boyfriend. And I was just alone with Apple and their dad. And we were just like, whatever, I was fine. I was like, whatever, as long as I have, like, her sister. Because, like, I'm also pretty good friends with her sister. And then Kelly's boyfriend had a friend with him. So Kelly goes to Apple, her little sister, and says, come here. Like, his friend wants to ride with you. So basically, not only did she ditch me, but she was trying to get her little sister to ditch me too. So it would just be me and their dad. And then them four hanging out. Like, don't invite me if you're gonna like, not only you ditch me, but then you try to get, like, your sister to ditch me. Like, what the f*** is that? Like, obviously you can see why I'd be upset. Like, the only reason we went in the first place wasn't because she wanted to hang out with me. It was because she wanted to hang out with her toxic-ass boyfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from? And so I was just really upset. And it's whatever. Like, I was just upset the whole day. She didn't care. She didn't give a sh She just f***ed hanging out with him there and her dad was like uh eh, like what the fuck that happened and then we were in line again at the end of the day i was kind of shut down like not talking to kelly and then um what actually happened is we saw like this cute boy in line and i never find the like, guys attractive like i have really fucking high standards don't ask me why but like it takes a lot for me to find someone attractive and i found someone attractive so they decided so, in a way, I guess, to make up for what where they f***ed up, like, like, Kelly and Apple decided to, like, get his Snapchat for me. And then I Snapchatted him for, like, three days straight after that. But I, like, kind of forgave her because she did that for me. So, I kind of just let her off the hook with the f***ing, like, ditching me and f***ed up shit, Even though I should have been more mad. After that, after Hershey, we were planning to go to the beach, like, all summer. Like, all we wanted was to go to the beach together. And so the beach is coming up like we're, we were gonna go and all of a sudden Kelly's little sister Apple comes up to me and she's like Oh, yeah, by the way, like Kelly's taking her boyfriend to the beach instead of you. And I was like <sighs> Like this was after right after like directly after the Hershey part So I was still kind of upset and this just added on to it and I was just like, okay, whatever like she doesn't have to take me, even though she said she was going to. Like, it's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. Like, whatever. I get a text 
from Kelly. Like, after all the f***ing money that I've spent on her and all this sh like, and, and the stuff of the past few days, she asks me to give her a $3,000 loan. Like, what the f***? What the actual f***? Like, I still, like, repeating it now, I still can't believe she asked me for three thousand dollars to help her buy a car after she just ditched me like it's like in the same day like yeah i'm not taking you to the beach anymore i'm taking my boyfriend i'm ditching you and by the way can i have three thousand dollars like what the f do you mean and the best part is i was so f calm and i was just like i tried to tell her in a calm way it's not okay that you just asked me for three thousand dollars and this girl got in f furiated infuriated she's like don't use the car against me i don't use you for money how dare you accuse me of stuff like that so like i wasn't even allowed to like tell her how i felt like it would lead to a f argument and that kind of friendship just didn't roll with me like f that like like the fact that she already asked for three thousand dollars like already ew i just like throw up so the fact that she got mad at me for getting upset with her for asking for three thousand dollars like what kind of friendship is that? Like, I don't even like the girl. Like, like she did nothing for me our entire friendship except hung out with me. It's just been constantly getting hurt. And I was like, it's not worth it. Like, I don't like like her enough to deal with this shit. And so I was ready to cut the friendship off, but I didn't want to, like, cut it off because I knew she would start drama and it would be all this shit. And keep in mind, this whole time, she had been seeing the stuff that goes on in my house and the I have to go through and she she knew like a shit of my background story and she continued to treat me like this just keep that in mind how do you how does one see someone's fucked up life and make it even worse like she treated me like i i was worth nothing more than my money and it was so up. so i didn't want to end the friendship right then and there because i should have but i have morals and I decided it would be a better idea to just slowly distance myself, like stop being friends, like chill out. So I was like mad at her. And I wanted to get my, I like left some stuff of her house. I want to go pick it up and I had to give her back one of her t-shirts. I walk in her house and her mom's like, you guys need to cut this shit. Like get, like I miss you. Like be friends again. Like, like her mom was yelling at me the exact words, cut this shit. Like mad. Like whose kid? Like whose? kid because i'm not yours i just don't know what the f was but i just got my sh out of that house really f and i was like what the f just happened like someone else's parent just yelled at me i was talking to my friends seeing what i should do every single person said and cut her off based on like what has happened so far so i was again slowly distancing myself and i'm sitting in my bed and i get like snapchats from her of her bawling her eyes out and i'm like what now like what now and she's like my boyfriend ditched me, like, he's going to his football practice instead of the beach with me, like, such a piece of shit. Like, I want you to come to the beach with me, and she's like, please, like, we can make videos, we can take pictures, kind of, like, bribing me, I guess. She's like, we're gonna make a video about him and how horrible he is and how he ditched me, and I was like, um, okay, like, whatever, like, I felt sorry, I was like, sure, like, I'll go to the beach with you, maybe we can reconnect, and maybe this friendship will work out. Maybe we can have some good times together and maybe things can like fix themselves, you know? We go to the beach together, everything's fine. And, and I just try to ignore the fact that she asked me for $3,000 and I just try to have a good time, you know? Like I try to enjoy the last couple weeks of summer. We wanted to go to this, like this under 21 nightclub and make friends. So basically we were about to get our tickets and they were $10 a piece. And she didn't have enough money in her account or something to get money out of the ATM. So she was like, can you get money out of your account? And so it cost $3 to get money out of my account. And like at this point, she knew I was kind of bothered by how she's always asking me for money and how much I'm like spending on her and stuff. So she's like, I'll pay you back, which she never said before. So like we're making progress here, you know? And she's like, I'll pay you back. Like, it'll be fine. Like, can you just like, get $20 out for me? Never paid me back. Like to this day, never paid me back. Like I never got my twenty dollars back and i asked her for it like multiple times never gave it to me her mom's just like whenever i ask for it her mom's just like you didn't pay me back for all the dinners i made you and i'm just like you know what like it's not even f 
worth it. Like if a grown woman is gonna yell at me for all the dinners that she made me at her house and she wants me to pay in full after all the money I've already gave to her daughter, then whatever. So anyway, we go into the nightclub. She like cheats on her boyfriend or whatever and she gets with this like guy and like grinds on him and like all of us are like with guys and whatnot. And she didn't like the guy that she was with. She was like, kind of upset because like she didn't get a cute guy. But then like me and her sister did, I guess. And so the next day at the beach, me and her sister were hanging out with these guys. And she was kind of mad that she didn't have a guy, even though she has a boyfriend, which doesn't really make sense. And so she wanted to make us leave early because she didn't have a guy, which was like pretty selfish because we know for a fact, like if she had a guy, then like we would be staying the whole night but like since she didn't have one like we had to leave early i was like whatever like but like she's selfish so like what was i expecting didn't really think a lot of it and we got home and me and her sister were still like kind of in touch with the guys and we wanted to hang out with them and now kelly said she was gonna drive us i guess to hang out with them and let me just put that whole situation on hold keep that in your head and then move on to another situation. So, um, while I was getting f as a friend from her, I had these two other friends that like decided it would be so fun, like while I was at the beach, to leak my number to my followers and then have people spam me. I love you guys, but like some stuff just needs to stay private. And I, you could see why I would be upset and like have trust issues, like after all I've been through. And they just like leaked my number and thought it was like funny, and I was like like that's not cool like I'm kind of hurt and they were kind of responding the same way that Kelly did when I confronted her they were like you don't have a right to be mad like blah 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 and so I again the way that I stopped being friends with people I decided to like slowly distance myself from that from them every time they asked to hang out like I wouldn't hang out with them and they're kind of reckless and immature and didn't give two shits. so they decided to leak my address in a group chat with a bunch of my fan pages and not only is that like f up like because i've done so much sh for them and these are two completely different people so i'm just getting f over from all directions like not only did i give them so much like followers spend money on them all that they're like threatening like my safety my family's safety my privacy and it's just all kinds of f up and at the same time when all this shit's happening, like I'm bawling my eyes out, I'm like my family's gonna die, people are gonna come to my house. And um, this kid that is with the two kids that I was friends with, like he's leaking my address too. He's saying really fucked up to my family, like leaking all this personal information. And I'm just so like, I, like I'm calling them, like asking them to take it down. Like what did I do to you? Like, like please, like I'm going through so much like oh my god like bawling my eyes out and they're just sitting there like making fun of the whole thing and like it's just so up uh, like we almost had to get the cops involved we had to call parents and shit. and i hate that but like when it comes to your safety like you have to get people involved one of the kids that leaked my address is like is like kelly's cousin somehow married in and so after the beach Kelly says she's gonna drive us to like see the boys or whatever, which I knew like didn't I knew was never gonna happen just because like she's too selfish to do like so something so big for like other people besides herself. Like if she's not getting anything out of it, like I knew she wouldn't do it. So she said she was gonna drive us like the next day. Like the next day came, it was Tuesday, and she drags me to her aunt's like end of summer pool party or whatever. We go there and we like go to sleep and take naps and the first thing i hear when i wake up from my nap she's like never mind i can't drive you guys tomorrow i have to babysit so like she got us all excited to go see these guys and then she cancels the last minute and i was just already upset i was like whatever and she's like oh by the way let's call him cabin she's like oh by the way cabin's coming over which is the kid that leaked my address so she just threw two f***ed up things at me so i was like infuriated i was like so mad like i could not see this kid who physically like said so much about my family like, I, I physically couldn't control my anger like i knew if i saw this kid's face i would probably beat the 
out of him so I wanted to get myself out of that situation as fast as I could and I was like texting her how I felt uncomfortable about it I was just texting her back and forth and she screams in front of her whole family like after she just told me that like cuz I'm trying not to show emotion cuz like her whole family is like sitting around here she screams it's not my fault he's coming in front of her whole f family so not only am I like infuriated and like trying to like text her my feelings now everybody knows what the f is going on so like she just embarrassed me in front of her whole family I was like yeah I can't do this I called her an uber and I got the f out of there I went home and I like anger cried I was like how the f did you even put me in that situation like after all the that you put me through how could you like do more and um i wanted to make plans with kelly's little sister to maybe find a time to see the guys because we still really want to hang out with them even though we got like canceled on by kelly and next day um i go back over there and i'm trying to make plans with kelly's little sister to like see these guys and like it was the night before it was like tuesday night the night before we were supposed to like actually go see them and like we got canceled on so we wake up the next morning like at like 2 p.m we like stayed up all night because we were really sad because like we thought we were gonna see these guys we we just hear we we just hear kelly in her room just chilling just chilling at 2 p.m when she said she couldn't take us because she had to babysit she she literally had the audacity to make up one big lie so she wouldn't have to take us to see these guys because it was too much for her to do one nice thing for us after all this shit I've done for her. We decided to take matters into our own hands and this was probably the, one of the dumber decisions I made but we decided to Uber to see the guys and like chill at their place for a little and then come home and like keep in mind we talk to these guys a lot like they're not like strangers or anything and so we planned the whole thing like we were planning it with Kelly, me and Kelly's little sister and Kelly like we were planning to go like everything was fine we were like oh my god we're finally gonna see these like guys or whatever so we go to my house we get changed we take showers or whatever because like we were like sweating outside we get ready our uber's about to get here I get a text from Kelly she's like have you guys gotten in the uber yet and I'm like no not yet and she's like well don't because my mom knows she snitched on us like after she said she would take us and then like backed out we finally found a way to go and she snitched on us like holy f what a f friend oh my god i just hate like when people say like oh maybe she was scared about your guys safety or whatever like no she wasn't like let's not act like stupid here she didn't want us to go she didn't want to have us to have a good time she didn't want us to see the guys oh god i hate talking about it because it makes me so mad so her mom kelly's mom and her little sister's mom comes get comes and gets her and then Kelly texts me like she's like oh my, by the way my mom's mad at you too like everyone like you're in trouble or some stupid shit. like that I was like okay like what the f ever like whatever I like decide to take a different friend to go see the guys because like it's a bunch of guys it's not just like the two guys that we hung out with and like we were all just like gonna hang out and we decide to go and uber down there and like I uber all the time so like I know it's like a safe thing and so like we go down there we have a blast I come to find out that Kelly told her mom that I still went even after her little sister got caught. And like, at that point, there's just no point. Like, why the fuck? Like, who's benefiting from you telling her that? Like, now you're just snitching, like, to be a d like, That's how I know she wasn't snitching for, like, safety. Like, she genuinely didn't want me to have fun. She definitely didn't want me to see the guys. I don't know. I don't f know. I couldn't f tell you. She just doesn't want to see anything work out for me. So... I basically like after that I'm just like yeah not, I can't trust you this isn't a good friendship I have to end it like I didn't say that but like I kind of like slowly distanced myself and then made it really clear that like we weren't friends and she started posting about me and tweeting about me and all this shit, basically saying how how I met her because she snitched even though it was everything that I just told you guys and her mom would like text me and threaten me and her mom said all this to my like to me she's like get over yourself like just because you have a childhood doesn't mean you get to like do this to people and it was just so sick it was so sick because she was using like the shit that i go through like against me and i don't know she's really up from all directions and she would say things like how her grown like niece that's like a fully grown adult like 30 or something 
wants to throat punch me. So she's like threatening me with adults saying that they're gonna hit me and I'm like, yeah, this isn't cool. And like she's saying she's gonna like take me to the office. I'm like, do it, like take me to the office. Like your daughter posted about me first and you're threatening me, like saying that your niece isn't is gonna like assault me and like go ahead, take me to the office. And so I kinda let it die down because like I, I had a good reason to end the friendship. Like she me over like multiple times and like I just had enough I was done with it and then I hear stuff from other people that she's like telling people like personal and like half it's not even true but like she's like going around like telling people all this that I never even told her like I because I knew I couldn't trust her because like I knew she's like she has no morals and like she doesn't care and like because she used to against me before but like it's so sad that she has nothing else to like say badly about me except for the I go through like Honestly just makes me feel so good about myself like I'm not even saying that sarcastic It makes me feel so good that she has she can't say one negative thing about me That's something that's out of my control like she can't say oh like you're ugly or like this like she has to bring up personal shit that I go through to make like to try to like get people to not like me even though I don't get how that would make people not like me. Whatever, but go off, sis. I don't know. And I was going to confront her about it because, like, you don't tell people's per personal shit. Like, especially, like, family and all that. So I was going to confront her to her face. She would, like, run from me like a little f***ing coward. Like, I would try to find her and, like, confront her. Not even, like, rude, like, in a rude way. Like, just be like, why the f*** do you feel, like, the need to talk about my family? Like, can't you talk about anything else? There's nothing else wrong with me, is there? Like, confront her. And, but, like, she never had the balls to talk to me in person. So, yeah, that's that. Moral of the story is don't let people use you for your money or followers or anything like that. Because I am still continuing to go through from her. And I really hope it ends soon because it's not cute at all. I just, okay, wait, I forgot a whole big chunk. So, she's friends with this guy who's basically the most horrible person I've ever met. Basically, he's, like made fun of people for like having close people to them like die and stuff made fun of people with disabilities made racist jokes and all that and made school shooting jokes and just like is a f person and like that's her best friend at the moment and he like is tweeting about me and all this like calling me a bully which is really f***ing ironic like they're kind of like going against me or whatever but i don't really care because like they don't really matter but like i guess he thinks all the that he does is okay because he's like gay so he thinks that he can get away with it and no one can make fun of him because he's gay so yeah that's that just 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 a little taste of who she has as friends so i forgot to say like a whole part of it because i suck at everything so i'm gonna say it now her mother like it bothers me so much when parents are oblivious to the way that their kids truly are like parents will think that their kids are like a1 perfect like respectful when they're the exact opposite like some parents are just so oblivious to how their kids are and how bad they treat people and this is one of those situations and another thing is if you don't know the story don't get involved because I've had one of her friends she like forced one of her friends to DM me and yell at me and like say all this stuff that made no sense at all like it's just so funny when people tell me, like, Oh, Kelly did nothing to you. Like, like, you don't know shit. Like, you don't know anything. Oh, my God. It just, it, it's so dumb that it makes me go insane. Like, people that weren't there, have no clue what it's about, have no reason, like, don't know me at all, have the audacity to say, she didn't do anything to you. Like, I actually like lose brain cells every time I hear that but yeah just wanted to add that in there love you bye I'm just gonna end it here I'm just gonna cut it off thank you guys for listening if you listen to this whole thing then you're a real one yeah I hope you guys enjoyed story the story of me getting over like multiple times and yeah so that's all I have for today get ready for more new videos coming I love you guys so much, like, never forget that, because, honestly, I don't really have anyone in this life, except for you guys, as we can tell. So, thank you guys for everything, and thank you for all the support. I love you guys so, so much. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew the real story, and so if your friend asks you for a $3,000 car, then you should probably go. Scoot, scoot. 
I have so much more f***ed up stories that I could tell on here, like, because just getting f***ed seems to be a hobby for me. So if you guys want to hear more stories, then make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and that's basically all I have for today. I probably left some stuff out, but... You know, who knows what's going to happen after this. Who knows? My camera's about to die at the perfect time. And I'll see you guys next video. So, deuces. Bye!